Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. So in this video, we'll learn about a core module of Python library and that is the RE module. So RE stands for regular expressions. So then what is a regular expression? A regular expression is a sequence of characters that define a search pattern. So we will see what a search pattern is in just a minute. So regular expressions is mainly used in pattern matching with strings. So as an example, if you want to generate a regular expression for all the strings that contain all A's, or that contain even number of A's and problems such like these. So in Python we have the RE module which will help us to work with the regular expressions. But before we dive into some code, let us understand a couple of methods that the RE module exposes. I won't be going over the complete methods set that the regular expression module exposes, though let us discuss a couple of them. Now the RE module offers a set of functions that allow us to search a string for a match. First we have the find all method that returns us a list containing all the matches. Then we have the search method that returns the match object or you can say a part of the string that corresponds to the pattern that you are looking for if there is a match anywhere in the string. Then we have the split method that returns us a list from the string and what happens here is that the string is made to split at each match. Lastly, I would like to cover the sub method that replaces one or more matches with a string. So now let us work with regular expressions to see how we can leverage its power when required. So first let us start with very simple code demos. So I want to search the string to see if it starts with the and ends with dev. So first let us import the re module import re. And now let us define the variable for channel name. So channel underscore name the nerdy dev. Then on the re module we have the search method that we can use along with some special characters with some well defined meaning that we can use to define a regular expression for this. So I can say matched portion and I will say re dot search so the search method and then I can say using this caret symbol which means that the string that we are testing on should start with the so it is the pattern that we are specifying and we are basically testing this string so it should start with the and then def and i will put a dollar here which means that the string should start with the and it should end with def so dollar marks the end and caret marks the start and second argument is the string that you want to test which is the channel name the star means zero or more occurrences here we are using dot which means any character okay so this dot represents any character except the new line character and we are saying zero or more occurrences are allowed by using this asterisk symbol finally we are using dollar which indicates that the string under check should end with dev and these special characters that i just discussed are known as meta characters and there are a couple of them so let us navigate to the official docs of python where you can learn more about the RE module. So let us search for Python's RE module. Click on this, the first one, and let us quickly search for meta characters. Now here are a couple of them that you can easily see in the documentation. Here you can see dot represents that it matches any character except a new line. Then this caret symbol, the start of the string, end of the string is defined using dollar in the pattern. And then all these symbols, so you can learn about all these symbols in the documentation so the link for this documentation can be found down below now coming back to the editor let us discuss a couple of methods to see how we can work with regular expressions now let us first discuss the find all method that the re module exposes as i told you earlier that it returns us a list comprising of all the matches so let us define a variable description so let us paste the text right here but i will use these strings which are the dog strings and paste them here because we are using multi-line uh, description now to find all the matches in our description uh, what i can do is i can make use of the find all method so matches re dot find all and i want to find all the matches pertaining to the pattern which is be so i'm looking for b in this entire description and we are testing the description that is the string under check and let us log the matches to the terminal and let us run the file 
and you can see we are getting three occurrences of B in our description. The list holds all the possible matches in the order they are found. If no matches are found, an empty list gets returned. Now let us see one more example. I want to search for the first white space character in our description string. So we can make use of the search method that will search the string for a match and returns a match object if there is a match and what this match object contains is the information about the search and the result. So I can say searching for the first white space character. So I can say first white space and I will say re.search and the pattern for the white space is backslash s and the string under test is description. Now we uh, want to get the first white space character from the start of the description string. Okay. Now this backslash is a special sequence. Now there are a couple of special sequences that you can make use of. So let us switch back to the official documentation to understand some of them. Before that, let me print the result. So I will print first white space and let us run the file and you can see we are getting a match object. Now to search for the first white space character in the description string, I can use a start method on our match object that we got and now let us run the file and you can see we are getting zero. So that means the very first white space character occurs at index zero of our string that is right here. So you can see we are getting zero which is the position or you can say the index at which the first white space character was found. So now to learn more about special sequences, let us go back to the official documentation and let us search here special sequences. So you can see it says special sequences comprise of backslash and a character from the list below. So here we are using backslash s and we are looking for white space characters and you can use these special sequences that are given to us in the documentation. So if you want to match only at the start of the string, matching an empty string, then we have the split method that will return us a list where the string has been split at each match. So I basically want to split the string at the white space character. So for that I can say result equals to re dot split and it will first take on your special sequence or the pattern so we are looking for a white space character in our description string which is under check and then I can print the result to the terminal and run the file and you can see the string is getting splitted at the space character and you can see the very first space character is occurring at index 0 in our list that we are getting using the split method on the description string at spaces. So first we got a white space, then it, then a split happened, then if, then a split and then a. So like this you are getting the output. So you can see we are now getting a list of words and the entire description is getting splitted at the space character. Now let me go over one more method and that is the sub method that is used to replace the matches with the text of your choice. So what I want to do is I want to replace every white space character that we are having in our description string with asterisk. So let us see how we can achieve this. So down below, let us put a comment and say sub method and I can define a variable text and I can say re.sub and I want to replace the white space character with an asterisk in our description string that is under check and let us print the text to the terminal and run the file. And now you can see in this output, every white space character got to replace with an asterisk. So let us perform some email validation using the RE module of Python. So let us define a regular expression for validating an email. Email validation. So I can define a variable here, regex. And here I will paste the regular expression for email validation from my repo. So you can see it is the regular expression for validating an email. And you can write more complex or regular expressions for email validation as well. So now I will define a function validate email and I can say def validate email and this will take on an email as the argument. Now using the search method or the RE module, 
and passing the regular expression that we just defined and the email that we want to validate. So I can say if re.search, I will specify the pattern which is the our regular expression, which is this one, and the email that is under check. And if it is valid, I will print the given email is a valid one else I can print the given email is an invalid one so now let us define an email and check whether it is valid or not as per the defined regular expression so I will define an email and set that to nerdsworld at nerds.com and validate email pass on the email to the invocation and then let us write xyz.com and I will again validate the email and then email equal to I am not an email and again validate that. So now let us run the file to see the results. So you can see the first email is a valid one because it satisfies the regular expression. It does have a at symbol in it which we are of course testing in our regular expression and this one is an invalid one. And lastly, this is also an invalid one. It is some random text, which is of course not an email. So we're getting the given email is an invalid one. So this was an introductory video on regular expressions. So if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and colleagues, hit the bell icon for all the upcoming uploads and I will see you guys in the very next video.